Hello friends, welcome back. We are slowly getting into the Android app building process and we will learn a lot of app related contents from here on. All what we have learned till now is fundamentals and now comes the time to learn a little more stronger content as well as much more interesting content for you. Now this session is going to talk about how do we hide the title bar in Android and how do we get the full screen without having the notification bars coming into picture. For an instance, when you launch an app, immediately the uh, app's logo and all those content will vanish and you will get a full screen for your usage. So how are you going to do that is what we are going to see in this session. And this is a very short, concise session and I am sure you will like it. Well, first case we need to handle is to get uh, the title bar hidden. We are going to hide the title bar. So we need to use the method get support action bar and it retrieves the instance of action bar class. There is a class called as action bar and we are going to use the method get support action bar and it will help you in retrieving the instance of action bar class. And we are going to call the hide method of that action bar class and that's all the work is done. You will get the things done. It will hide the title bar. We are going to see a demo and it will be very easy for you to understand. The next one is full screen mode. How do we get into full screen mode without notifications? I don't want any notifications. I don't want the app logo or the name coming into picture there. It should be like full screen for me. We have got a set flags method available and it's going to be very useful for us which will help us in achieving the target. We need to pass the window manager dot layout params dot flag underscore full screen constant in the set flags method. We have a method called as set flags as I told you and to that method we have to pass window manager dot layout params dot flag underscore full screen. That's all your task is done. Okay sir enough of theory and we are going to see how exactly this has been implemented and this is very easy for you. I am going to walk through the code right now. We are having the content here as hi this is full screen example. Rest all are auto generated. I did not touch much. You can see that here this is the same android manifest.xml file. The Android main, uh, the main activity.java file is what we are going to work on right now. In the first shot, we are going to use the get support action bar and there we are using the hide method. We are using the hide method over there. And the moment you use it and run the code, you will see that automatically the title will get hidden. So I'm going to see that right now and the, uh, this should be above the set content view. Please remember this particular content should be above the set content view and we are going to run it for you right now. Let me adjust the screen so that you can see the emulator properly. Now I am running it. It may take a few seconds for it to be set and it's connecting to the emulator and this is the previous screen which I had been working on. Now we will get the latest screen where you will see the content pretty much clearly. You can see that. Hi, this is the full screen example and you can see that the title is all hidden. Now comes the next very important part where we are going to see the set flags content, whatever I have told you, right? The notification bars will also be hidden. Whatever you see on the top will all be hidden and it will be very easy for you to understand. So in the set flags method, I am passing the window manager dot layout params dot flag underscore full screen. That's what I have been explaining you in the theoretical explanation and I pass that. Now I'm going to run this. I have chosen a different emulator, I mean the different mobile. Uh, so you can see that here when I run it, you will see the complete screen with you for access and it's going to be very easy for you to check if what we wanted to do has come. You can see that the full screen is yours. We have completely hidden the notification bars and it's all yours now. Now you get a complete space for you to access. That's all. I have explained you clearly how exactly you could use the get support action bar and you can use the set flags for you to go into the full screen mode. That's all. I'll quickly walk through the uh, code once again so that you can get clearer understanding. You could see that this is what I have been talking about. Get support action bar and in that we have used the hide method. And the next one is the get window where we have used the set flag. Set flag is the main thing that you need to remember. So the set flag is the method that I'm using and for that we have passed a constant as an argument and that's all it worked fine. And that's it. I hope you understood the content. And in case you have any questions, please go ahead and uh, ping me. I'll be very happy to answer. If you have uh, any other suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the chat section. If you like the channel, the content, kindly subscribe. Thank you.